I'm off to Lake Worth to meet up with my favorite Palm Beaches expert. Hi there, I'm Susan Risden with Coldwell Banker Realty and we are in Lake Worth. We're at the famous pier where Benny's on the Beach has been here for a long time. Great breakfasts, um, really, really good seafood, fresh all day long. Uh, the beach is gorgeous here and we are super close to downtown Lake Worth where there are a bunch of LGBTQ friendly businesses and we're going to go explore it. Lake Worth is a 15 minute drive north of Delray Beach and it's very gay friendly. Home to Compass, the gay and lesbian center of the Palm Beaches, Studio 205, the only gay theme retail store in the county, and Zoo Health Club, a gym owned by an LGBT couple, Lake Worth welcomes travelers from all over. And if you're looking for an LGBT social experience, check out the Mad Hatter Lounge, one of the area's most popular gay bars, Penny's, a great place to socialize during Pride season and all year long, and attend Pride Fest of Lake Worth and the annual Gay Polo Tournament. So I'm standing in the Compass Center over in Lake Worth. This is the LGBT center for the entire Palm Beaches area. They do amazing work here. I'm gonna take a look around and we'll report back on what they're doing and what's going on. Hey everybody, my name is Julie Siever. I'm the Executive Director of Compass, the LGBT Community Center of the Palm Beaches. I want to welcome everybody here in Lake Worth Beach. We are getting ready for some of our first in-person events since the pandemic. So we're all looking forward to the Palm Beach Pride Market, which is going to be Saturday, June 5th, outside at Bryant Park here in Lake Worth. And we have all of our ongoing programs and services and we have a few opportunities to attend some of our um, telehealth appointments through virtual services. We have on-site HIV testing and as well as support groups for our LGBTQ youth and their families and friends. Come on by or visit us on the web to find out more information about what's going on here at Compass and around the Palm Beaches at compassglcc.com. Not only does Lake Worth have beautiful homes, waterfront views, and plenty of places to relax and socialize, it's also a great place to explore museums, go shopping, and have some delicious food. One of my favorite spots to eat in Lake Worth was Poncho's. Speaking of Poncho. So we are in the car. Hi there. It's Susan <laughs> with Coldwell Banker Realty right here in Delray Beach. We're heading to Lake Worth, and today we have a little visitor. So last night we were in Lake Worth, we were eating dinner at Poncho's Restaurant. Taco delicious Tuesday. food, Taco Tuesday, and all of a sudden, this furry little creature came up and apparently also wanted some tacos. Right. So but he had darted across the street, He had I saw that. Darted across the yeah. street, we, we noticed that he was about to kill himself, a little suicidal puppy. We have to have a discussion about this. Yeah, we do. And uh, no collar, no collar, no leash. N we had no idea where he came from, how long he'd been out. Didn't I don't know enough about the poodle breed, so I didn't know if he was too thin for and his I breed. I thought he was a standard poodle, but right. So it turns out he's a labradoodle. So we decided to keep him for the night. I was gonna keep him at my hotel room, but since Susan already has a dog and food and everything, yeah, kind of know the drills. We decided to take him back. Susan kept him at her place. Took a bunch of pictures on Took Facebook. Took a bunch of pictures. Apparently he humped her all night long. Yeah, and then... Bizarre. <laughs> about it. So this morning she gets a text from her friend who saw her pictures on Facebook. Sorority sister Alpha Fira, telling you. Absolutely. And sister. we she found the her. owner. We found the owner. There was a post apparently on a local dog paw app. Um, the owner, I called her. She was hysterically in tears. It turns out the name of this dog is not Poncho, which is what we named him after the restaurant. But it is... Harpo. Like after Oprah Productions. Harpo. So, right. he, <laughs> Harpo. But it's a boy. See? Yeah. He just turned around. So we are on our way to reunite Harpo here. Yep. and the owner, who was ex super excited and was in tears when I called her. So let's, let's do this. <laughs> If you're looking for a great time and a happy ending, 
check out Lake Worth. Join us next time on Outcoast TV when we go out on the coast.